Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, at the end of our last episode, we had a bit of, um... We had an incident with some space bugs. Um, it was exciting. But let's talk about something else first. Uh, pets. Pets in space. So I spent some quality time going back through the last 53 episodes and cataloging all the pets we've had. Yeah, I know. It was as fun as it sounds. Um, and what I did was, is I kind of listed them all out in order of, um, you know, when we got them and so on and so forth. Um, hopefully this is all up on the side of your screen or something like that. Um, probably with something sarcastic at the bottom. And I went through and I decided what we're going to be taking. Now this was not an easy decision to make. So here was kind of my algorithm here for making a decision. Um, I wanted to take the older pets first, of course. Um, and I wanted two breeding pairs of everything where possible. Now, unfortunately, an episode or two ago, I just grabbed a bunch of random pets and sent them off to our friends, and that really screwed things up. Um, that left a lot of weird gaps. You see the ones that have strike throughs their names? Those are either dead or I gave them away because they are ones that are not currently in our stables. So it's kind of a mess. Um, so I'm going to take all those, and then I'm going to take the interesting pets. Um, I'm a little iffy on whether or not I'm going to take Rocky, Fire Jr., or Tarzan. Um, a Boomlope maybe is a little pedestrian. A Boulder might probably. An Animus Vox probably, but I'm not going to commit to that at the moment. So, with 17 colonists, that's 21 animals, so we need 38 pods. Which is actually not that bad. We've already got 25 made, so no big deal. We'll get that taken care of. Um, we had some injuries. We actually have two more people down here that are in the process of being rescued. I sent some people to come get them. And then, we have some work to do. Um, a lot of these things are going to start reproducing very quickly here. There are numerous ones that are under a day. So unfortunately, I have to do the not only tedious, but speedy job of getting out there and getting them all blown up. Um, it's probably quicker just to run around with a couple people in guns than to, you know, try to mortar them. Um, I don't... I don't know. I'm not happy about it. It's going to take forever. But, well, things are what they are. Um, I've let the animals out. They're going to hopefully doing some carrying. Um, they'll be bringing all the corpses over to here, both insect and animal. Um, and then I'm going to grab something that I'm going <laughs> to try to call a gang squad to come take care of all this. Um, who can I even pull out here? I can pull Brack. Um, Morty should probably have a real gun again. Uh, what do we have for real guns at the moment? There's a Gauss rifle. Okay, why don't you come equip this Gauss rifle? And then you can come. Um, Aaron can probably come. Let's grab the three of you, and let's get going. Let's start down here. I think this will work okay. Nate is doctoring, and Dakota's gonna freak out. Um, Eden is sleeping, but could be plausibly convinced to come work on some animals. Let's give this a try. Let's see if this is enough people. Because we really, really, really gotta get rid of these things. And I don't know what's gonna cause things to aggro on us either. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. I hate surprises. Well, that's not always true, but in general, I hate surprises. Who else was coming? Eden, Oh, five of you. Okay, good. Well, come on over here. I don't really want any of these bugs aggroing on us, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, I do have our colonist weapons set to haul urgently, so as soon as someone has time, they will take care of that. Okay, go ahead and start blasting these. This won't take long, but we do need to get this taken care of ASAP. Okay, various people are going to become capable of walking again, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I fully expect to just kind of skip ahead here, so let's just go ahead and let's do that. Okay, I think that's all of them. Ye probably. I think that's it. Okay, so go ahead and be free. Um, let's get all the components and stuff. This is the easiest way to do this. Um, select similar. Just everywhere and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna allow all those very good and then i suppose let's do the steel later do i want to deal with the insect jelly i really don't we don't have any problems with food oh oops this stuff is supposed to be i must have accidentally forbade something in there um and over here too actually quite a bit of that okay so i don't know if it's really worth the effort Let's deal with the rest of this crap first. Let's get people healed, let's get components hauled inside, let's get bugs hauled around, um, and then I'll kind of make a decision. Like I said, we really don't need the food, and we're going to be okay without it. 
This person does have an infection. Oh, that nobody's tending. Kitch, would you mind tending? Oops, not feeding. Wait, hold on. This person. Um, reserved by Aaron. Never mind. Go ahead and go back to sleep. Just so somebody's tending to this person. Yeah, okay. Because you're not in a Star Trek bed. Okay, now you're not going to come tend. So why don't you come tend, please? I'd rather not have a guest die. It may happen, but I'd prefer not. Um, yep, you're going to be fine. No worries. Okay. Well, wasn't that fun? I'm wondering if maybe I should suspend some bills here so that stuff gets hauled around a little faster. You know what? Let's do that. Well, no. This will take forever otherwise. The animals can help. I think they'll be fine. Millie's fully healed. Good. Now, I didn't actually check. Did anybody miss anything important? Just some toes. No big deal. Um, toes. Really bothers me you guys are in my Star Trek beds. Oh, I don't care about you. X, no. Leah, not really. Your nose is still shattered. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Okay, so it looks like we may not have actually lost a whole bunch of damage. Like, that was the funniest fight that I think I've had in a long time. And it was entirely due to our Mycoid Colossi. Just totally not caring. They were sitting around, like, tanking 10, 20, 30, 40 plus people or plus bugs at a time and that gave us the time that we needed to actually get around and um you know get our defenses set up to get people moved around all kinds of good things like that so kudos to them they were the real heroes yeah okay well i would like these components inside but it's not really a big deal like i said the weapons and stuff would be nice the meals are all forbidden because i don't want to deal with food poisoning and now we just need to kind of wait for people to heal up a little bit and start catching back up with the base. Good god. An artifact dealer. We can check them out. Um, we've got a high drone going, of course, but that's not really something I'm concerned about. Let's go give them a call. Um, I did decide, in my, in my infinite generosity, to remake noses for the two people that are missing noses. And somebody, Grange, I think, is missing an ear. So we're just going to go ahead and I'll just make those things for them. All right, so what can we do with you? Have some yayo. Let's take a look down here. Let's sell them our yayo and let's buy an insanity lance because they can be kind of fun. Good enough. Fine. I'm not really that concerned about it. What I could really use is advanced components, which I didn't see and hopefully they weren't there. Um, and then... Uh, Glass steel are the two things that I need. And I, well, I have a lot of stuff that you guys need to build. I need my constructors to kind of give out the program. Um, This worked really well. Let's make another one of these. We should have. Let's see here. Can we make these out of... Steel wax? We sure can. Alright, I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was right around here. Here, just go go right there. It doesn't really matter where. But that was actually pretty convenient. So I'm just going to leave that one there because it did some good work. And all the stuff will get hauled eventually. <laughs> I assume. I don't know why it's not getting hauled, to be honest. Um, things are taking kind of a while, so there is that. And I am not moving all these lights around because that is way more labor than I'm willing to put into this. You're consuming glow stools, huh? Huh. Alright, that's cool. Well, I'm happy for you. Oh, I didn't even check to make sure you guys are okay. Are you missing anything important? You have a mangled eye, which I'm going to replace because you, like, were a huge deal. Like, if it weren't for these guys, I don't know what would have happened. It would have been bad. It would have been real bad. So we're going to make you an eye. Yep. I don't care what it costs. We're going to go ahead and you get a new eye. Like, I mean... Most of your stuff has dropped off here. And look how many... Can, look at this. Look at this. Sausage tanked forever. And so Sausage gets a new eye. Oh, great. There's even more dead bugs out here. I thought I'd gotten them all. Well, whatever. I burned the ones that we had up here that had all the human corpses, so good enough. That's fine. They'll rot or decay or something. I'll eat them or whatever. I don't care what. The same with this insect jelly. People enjoy it, but I don't really want to deal with it. As far as I'm concerned, the animals can have it. Here. Love a little bit. Mmm, delicious. Yum, animal jelly. I mean, some of this stuff hasn't even been hauled yet. 
I suppose that's in an area where the animals can't get, so... I assume the animals will eat the stuff on the ground. I don't know. Maybe they won't. That'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Okay, so we've got everything put back together. We should be able to go ahead and shut off the turrets then. Not that we have any power concerns, but we should be okay now doing that. Yeah, there's not enough bugs left on the map to be a problem. In fact, there are no bugs left on the map. See, look, insect jelly. Oh, that wasn't our guy. That was someone else's guy. Psh. Well, I don't care about that. You go ahead and be sick. I don't care. Okay, were all the bills done on this thing? Yep, let's go ahead and turn that back off. And you're making what? An ear? Yep, good. And is that it from here? It sure is. Let's turn that off. I have to kind of sort out who gets what here. Grim, did you get any of this? Yeah, you, you get an ear. You get a bionic ear implant in your left ear. And I will have Kitch come deal with that. Then I'll find the people with noses and stuff, and we'll deal with that a little bit later. Join the guests, fine. Wow, this bionic animal eye is going to take forever. Okay, well, while we've got people up and about, um, who needs noses? You need a nose. Don't consume insect jelly. Don't do that. Why don't you... Come have an artificial nose installed. Come rest. And who else needed a nose? Oh, Aaron, who's needed a nose forever. So come rest, and then we'll have Kitch install a bunch of noses. Kitch loves that kind of thing. I think. Um, operate. And then operate. And if you've got just a second, can you come clean up all this puke? Oh, maybe you... That's right. You won't do manual labor. Is there somebody nearby that can clean up all this puke? Because I really don't want that in my operating room. Thank you. He's just, like, vomiting all over the place. Come on. Come on. Get back here. Get back here. I'm not queuing this up. They're just, like, deliberately trying to run away. <laughs> Alright, so long, visitors. It's been fun having you here. And you've developed immunity. Fine. I didn't check the rest of the animals, but I think they're okay. These are really taking your time repairing and building this stuff, aren't you? A tantrum. Okay. I wonder if that's someone that I killed. It might have been. That does happen. Okay, so it looks like everything has now been rebuilt. Fantastic. Yeah, hi, you're a guest. La-di-da. I don't care. I don't think the animals are allowed in here. That's why that's there. Okay, good. The bionic animal eye is done. Go ahead and turn this off. And actually, sausage is still laying down, so that's perfect. So you now get... Oh, I can just fix it. Oh. Well... Nah, you get the good stuff anyway. Best quality medicine. High quality doctor. Yep. Like I said, you probably saved us, so... I forgot that we can just cure things on that, but that's okay. I would much rather you get an upgrade. There we go. Awesome. Now I'm happy. Okay, and everyone is fully healed. I mean, they're a little crazy at the moment, but everyone's fully healed. Everything's been taken care of. The last few bits and bobs are getting cleaned up. I think that went rather well. For certain definitions of the word well. Barely anyone died. Um, Actually, no one died at all from our faction, did they? No animals, nothing. Yeah, I'm pleased. Oh, there's another sausage. Um, You're going to be like stuck in here though, aren't you? I can't tell. Well, let's find out. We'll wait until morning, and then we'll see what's going on in here. Oh, here we go. We can... These are actually an item. Oh, no, I bet it's already been... Oops. I bet it's already been thrown into here and ruined. Yeah. 
Well, maybe they're not ruined. Let's put them outside and let's uh, let's make another agripod. Where can I put it where it won't get stuck inside of our defenses or something like that? Actually, let's do it like this. Um, let's build a small roof area and then let's go ahead and let's make a small stockpile area. And in this area, we're gonna allow clear all critical. Yes. And we'll see if that works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. I just work here, man. Why are you asking me questions? We really need steel. I know I've got at least one steel drill going. Warg revenge, huh? Who's killing a warg? Oh, look, it's Waffle. Mmm, Waffle didn't kill that fast enough. Do you not have two bionic legs? You still need another bionic leg. It's probably not a bad idea. Smoke leaf binge, fine. Have fun. What would another bionic animal limb cost us? Uh, well, I, I need to hold on to that stuff for a little bit. We'll get to it. No worries. Probably. We'll see. I've got like 50 pods to make, so we'll see uh, See what we got going on after that. Psychic turn is ending. Excellent. And, yep, these are... Eggs are progressing. Deteriorating because of outdoors. Is there an easy way for me to fix that? Yeah, there's lots of ways I could fix it. Let's fix it. What am I... Why am I even saying that? What do we have a whole bunch of? Limestone. Fine. Um... Yeah, go do that. And let's make sure that this is entirely roofed in. Yep, perfect. Someone should get to that shortly. I don't think it'll matter. It says it's deteriorated, but I don't think that's a problem. Then this door will just stay propped open, and then when they hatch, they can just kind of wander off. Should be great. I hope. There we go. Eggs are progressing. Okay. <laughs> I've never hatched anything. I've literally never hatched anything from an egg on purpose. I'm confident of that. That has never happened. In all the times I've recorded things, longtime viewers, feel free to, like, correct me. But I'm pretty sure I've never, like, deliberately done that. Oh, fibrous machinites. Dakota. Okay, well, that's fine. That's not too bad. Well... I guess we can just go ahead and queue up a bunch more pods. I mean, we're going to need them, so let's just go ahead and let's get them going. We don't have anywhere near the components we need, but we'll get to it. Our people are working away at it. Advanced components, man, are such a hassle. Like, it takes so long to deal with them. Like, they're not particularly expensive, although they are expensive. It's just the labor, man. Oh, what did that do to our wealth? Did that do anything? Oops. Not what I meant to hit. Did that do anything interesting to our wealth? Eh, no, not really. I'll burn off a bunch of wax here in the near future. Oh, we've got some visitors here that I totally forgot about. Um, Aaron, you're asleep, but I don't care. Let's come talk to them. Lalita, huh? Well, at least that's not weird. Alright, so you're from... I don't care where. Let's see here. You came with 233 silver. That's not... good. How many can you even afford? That many. And is there anything I want to buy from you? No, not components. Heavens, no. Well, fine. Enjoy. Thanks for your money. Where are you from? Oh, you're from Blue Moon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, the traders that I was complaining about. So, what I can do here... Actually, where'd they go? I'm not sure who I called. You can check in here and see how far out they are. Um, so not you guys. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it says that they're already on their way. So we may or may not actually get the traders. It's been kind of, kind of a crapshoot. I don't know. I'm not sure it's working correctly still. So 
Oh well. All right, so we need silver more than we need plasteel, actually. That's inter or silver. We need um, uh, steel, which is interesting in and of itself. Here, call the farming trader. They won't have anything to talk about, but if they want drugs, they'll have more money. Nope. Oh well. Too bad. So I'm actually wondering if I should move one of these drills over to work on the steel. There is quite a bit of steel over here. Um, if I move this over here, out of the way, Virgil, can you just do that quick, please? Thank you, much obliged. I could move one of these drills over. That wouldn't really matter which one. Um, we can put it there. So, Dakota, if you want to go ahead and do that. And then I'll move your chair and table over. I know that goes there. Oh, oh yeah, you do have your own table. I was just going to say, my god. What if you don't have your own table? But you do. It's okay. Everything's fine. Poor sensory mechanites. And there's not something... That's not something I can really do anything about. Yeah, the, there's actually nothing underneath this at all. In fact, um... Should I use this for steel? Yeah, let's find another steel place. Because I'm going to take this whole area apart. This has got to be steel. Um, let's go ahead and let's reinstall this over here. And let's see if it's actually steel. Oh, there's another bug. Jeez. And then I can just disassemble this whole thing. Are you coming to move it? Good, thank you. It should be steel. It's a gigantic, like, area that tends to be steel. Correct? Yep, okay. So, um, let's go ahead and let's make something nice out of this, then. He lies. Okay, something like that should be fine. Then we can run the power over from here. It doesn't really matter where. So go ahead and get all that stuff moved over. Um, this should be pretty nice. I can go ahead and put a second drill in there if I feel like it. I don't think I'll need to, but I might. Let's make sure these are not gathering spots. Ooh, this place is dirty. All these places are dirty. That's why I'm, that's why I'm flooring them in, man. I'm doing what I can. Um, we can leave this propped open for right now. Can we? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't have it be sapper bait, so... Let's just leave it like that. Doesn't this look pretty and nice, except like for the rotting corpses around here and there, which is not nearly as pretty as it could be? This looks nice. A combat supplier, huh? Interesting. Do you want drugs? I got drugs. I got lots of drugs. Actually, I don't know how many drugs I have. I've got... I've got a lot of drugs. Oh, man, do we have a lot of drugs. And I have two heaters over here for reasons that I don't remember why. I guess it doesn't really matter. You're not a mining trader, which would be the most useful thing you could be. But a drug trader, or someone that will buy drugs, should be good. I believe the combat traders typically purchase drugs, but let's see how much money they have. It's unlikely that they will have anything I want to buy in exchange, but we can check here. Um... Hey, they won't buy Yayo, so I have no use for you whatsoever. None. Bye. Be on your way. Well, that's disappointing. Now, does everyone have a decent short-range weapon? I think someone is still rocking a charged lance. Kitches. I think I would like to have... Everybody have a short-range weapon. And then switch to the lances if absolutely necessary. I don't think you can carry both. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if you could? Yeah, let's make one more charge rifle. Soon. We've got other things to do, obviously, in the meantime, but we will do that. Oh, good, they've come to help. Isn't that nice of you? Have you gotten this place put together yet? No, you haven't. Why, slackers? It's right there. Just do it. Oh, Plague, you've gotten sick. Okay, um, Grange Kitchen Brack. Okay, that's not great. Where are you guys? Grange, Rest, Kitch, Rest, um, Brack, Rest. And I will have probably Nate come tend to you. Once you've gotten over there. Hurry up. Rest faster. There we go. Tend. Tend. Caravan request. We'll come back to you for just a second here. Hold on. And add this to the disease. Caravan request. 16 incendiary launchers for an advanced bionic jaw and a pain stopper. I don't think so. I think we'll be okay without that. I appreciate the offer, but I think we'll be fine. 
And you guys should be pretty quick at this. Yeah, I, th I think you'll outrace this without any trouble. So, okay, good. Okay. Well, carry on. Um, I was putting another drill over here because we need steel, because that's actually all of a sudden our limiting resource, which is kind of funny. Um, I have all this plastic steel and no steel, so maybe I should actually build things like animal bionics. It's the advanced components that are the kicker. I still need a lot of those. So we'll have to see. We'll see. So check this out. This is weird. Okay, so Brack is at 17 and 29, right? And you're at 17 and 30. And you are at 21 and 22. That's really bad. That's really bad. In fact, that's so bad, I'm gonna craft a bionic limb and quick stuff that in you. For sure, yeah. Eden, do you want to come turn this on? And then I'm gonna have you make this, I'm sorry. You're just my fastest crafter at the moment. I need this done right away, because we're going to stick that in Grange so Grange doesn't die. Like, that's actually kind of a problem. I'm not really sure why you're so far behind. You've got a fancy medical bed. You've got a vitals monitor. And you're, well, you're about to have a medical rib, so that'll help. I mean, I, I think. I think. Aaron, don't you have one? Medical rib replacement. Blood filtration, yeah, so that'll help with everything. Eden? Nope, I'm sorry, you have to come back and finish this. Sorry. Tantrum? Yeah, no. Okay, there we go, thank you. Let's turn that off. Um, let's go ahead and let's get this operation set up. Rib, yep, and I believe that we're just gonna have Nate come do it. Um, yes, Nate come do that. So just take you a second. Splurch. Okay, so hopefully that helps. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why that one is so close. Like, you're healing a lot slower than the other two people. Hmm. Well, that should definitely get you out ahead of it, so okay. No problem. Did you guys get that mead going, by the way, that I had queued up? Um, looks like the answer is sort of. Still need a few more. Exeter, can you make this stuff? Need material, really? Oh. We're really out of honey? We are. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay. Well, let's, um... Oh, hold on. Let's start back up with standard meal preparations. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do, but I guess we can. We'll switch back over to simple meals. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. Let's have someone move that. Not Nate, obviously, because you won't help. Yeah, you're feeding raw fungus to people. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Animalies treatment. Did you get struck by lightning? Yeah, you did. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's not cool for you, and it's not cool for us either. But it is kind of cool. Alright, well, let me go ahead and let's suspend this. And let's go ahead and let's just unsuspend simple meals. Now, these should be... Actually, this can be meat as well. It doesn't matter. Just not insect meat. H, I, no insect meat. It really doesn't matter what you make these out of. Just not any animal products. No honeys. We... Actually, you can use insect jelly, really? Huh. That's interesting. And never rots. Oh yeah, but it's probably all degraded or been eaten. That's fine. Oh well. Alright, so Lewis is cooking away again. Huh. Well, sorry, I almost killed you guys. I thought that we had a little more honey than that. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, Grange, are you going to survive now? 38 and 48. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Hmm, bulk goods trader, eh? Okay. 
Yeah, like Grange is just healing really, really slowly. 97. And even with your medical rib, you're still only at 72. And there's nothing wrong with you. I mean, you're healthy. You're pretty happy now that you've got all these parts. Quite pleased. Yes, that's all I can afford though, so you're just gonna have to wait. I need to make like arms for our badgers and stuff like that. So you're just gonna have to hold on for a bit. Well, and pods. I need a lot of pods. Lots of pods. Oh, the pods we need. I don't like having this here. This is ugly. I guess we can go ahead and we can just shift it over one or two. I just want to make sure that everything's like covered down here, you know? Yeah, go ahead and do that. And then, Aaron. Why don't you come talk to this boat goods trader? Uh, that guy right there. Let's see if they have any steel, because that is what I need just gigantic quantities of for some reason. Alright, so let's take a look here. Okay, so they do not have steel, so whatever. Alright, buy some Yayo, and then let's just give you some crap since you're right here. Like, let's get rid of a bunch of our leathers and stuff like that. Whatever y'all take here, let me take a look through here. There. There's a whole bunch of other random stuff. That'll clean out our invo a little bit. Perfect. Okay, well, I tell you what, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. Let's queue up a pot or two here, so I don't forget about these. Make it look nice. I don't know, make a few more. That'll be cool. Um, yeah, this recording's been running about an hour and ten minutes, so, right. Anyway, when we come back, we will go ahead and just keep making crypto sleep caskets, basically. Maybe another weapon or two, um, and then, you know, we'll kind of get tooled up to start up the reactor, and then the fun will begin. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.